How's life, YouTube? Mark Spaz is here giving you a break from your daily headache with Duelist Live number four. Last week, we tried out um, Liner and we got mixed results, unfortunately. So this week, it's a new week, a new deck. As I said um, last week, we're going to try to mix it up every week, giving you guys a bit of variety with the decks and factions. And from this, from this point out, I'm going to assume that you guys have checked out the links down below. Um, being Ma Mega Mogwai and Grincher, I have all the information down below. There are top level Duelist players that I'm, um, that I have the pleasure of watching. And they are really, really good, very well, very chill guys, and very informative. So there, the links to the Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, uh, Twitch channels are all down in the description below. So I'm going to assume, going off the assumption, that you guys check that out during the weekend and whatnot, and in between the videos. Because um, as I continue from this point on, I'm going to try to do a little less explaining every single thing that happens so I can focus more on the games and actually like try to win. <laughs> because I feel that um, just providing so much exposition kind of like muddled the commentary, muddled my thought process, and I couldn't really play to my best ability. But you know, that's. <laughs> You know, there's an argument to be said that I just, you know, suck to begin with. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> we're going to assume, I'm going to assume that you guys have just at least checked that video out just to make things a little bit easier for me commentary -wise. So anyway, um, like I said, last week we rocked out with Grincher's um, Lionar deck. This week we're going to rock out with Grincher's budget deck. And the budget deck is pretty much a, pretty much how, exactly how it sounds like, because some of these cards are very expensive and we don't I don't have access to a lot of them. So until then I have just have these budget decks just to help me get by. So we're gonna go by with Grincher's budget Vitruvian deck, which is a Mechazor deck. A Mechazor is a type of archetype that um is very uh I don't know, it's not my favorite thing in the world to be honest. Uh, it's just very simple because you just got these little Mechazor units and you summon enough of them at five to be exact. Summon five of them, and then you get this big Megazord unit that kind of wins you the game. But if it doesn't win you the game, then you kind of lose. So it's like, if you get it out there, you win. If you don't, you lose. And if you do get it out and it gets dealt with, you lose. Because um, other than that big Megazord unit, after you summon five of them, you get this big Voltron looking thing that you could put anywhere on the map. You get that, and it, it's pretty powerful, but it can be dealt with. So if it does, then you it's pretty much a wrap because all you do all you have left is these kind of lackluster minions to help you get by but with Grincher he kind of made it so that these guys don't exactly become a threat but they become a little more pesky with these little buffs you know you got science first wish science second wish and things like that primus fist as well in your own weight in our oasis kind of interesting kind of want to try that out and you know with the games that I did try out you know off, off um, camera um, it's kind of the whole archetype is still just as un unappealing as I thought it would be and, and that's not to say nothing about Grinchers It's just the whole Mechazor archetype that I'm just not very interested in but it's archetype I never really dealt with prior So we're going to just get a few games in and see how we do with it Let's see. 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 Going against Kara Kara Kura Kara Kura King 94 is that what I said? 44. Karakura King 44. I'd like to reference to something. Um, do, 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 I think. I think I want to keep everything. I think I want to keep everything. Got our Megazord out. So that's kind of the um, theme of the deck. You just want to, the game plan of the deck. You just want to get Megazord out as fast as possible. That is kind of the idea. But there are some cases where you got to like play. You gotta play like answer cards, you gotta play like Infirmary Shrouds or whatnot. But for this turn, we're going to play our Helm of Mechazor. And we're going to play our Sword of Mechazor over her. Keep keep out of range of his general. And we're gonna call that a turn. Alright, so successful start, I'd say. Got two of our five Mechazor units out. Because each, each of these progress by 20%. So two, four, and then we get three more, and then we get Megazord. Sarlacc. Oh, that's interesting. At least, see, this is why we kept in the Ephemeral Shroud. So you're going to pop that. Which is all good. What else are you going to do? 
It's almost up in there. Abyssal. And then, goddamn. Another one. Whatever, whatever. Alright, so you're gonna summon this. Damn, kind of messed me up. Now I can't really put a, this in a good position. Um. Hmm. Well, I could just, yeah. Let's wipe these guys out. Uh, I don't want to hit him. But I could do a move up. I can move up. Um, move up. Hit this. Play the shroud here. Dispel that. Come up here. Buff this guy up some more. And hit this fool. Ah. And that'll be it. I'm gonna keep everything. And yep. So, Sword of Mechazor is the only kind of decent Mechazor unit. Also, you have there's also another Mechazor unit called Chassis of Mechazor. That's also pretty decent. But this is by far one of the more um, useful one utility wise because it has that frenzy ability. So he is going to take it out with the Abyssal Crawler and his Abyssal Scar. And take that out. Which is fine. Clear the board. The Sword of Mechazor put in work, I'd say. Now what is he, what are you gonna play? He's gonna play repulsive beast just to kill my guy, huh? That's fine. That is quite alright. That is quite alright. Because this turn, come here, pop that floor. Play my cannon. And I'm going to buff him up. And I'm going to, And I'm going to play this and hope it doesn't land on here. Chances are it won't. Odds are in my favor, but of course it did. Jesus Christ. Uh, so my guy is gonna die. So he doesn't even have to mess with it because he's gonna die next turn because of his shadow creep tiles. Odds are in my favor that it wouldn't spawn there, but you know, dumbs the brakes. Dumbs be the brakes, man. Dems be the brakes. Alright, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to drop this. Yeah, I'm going to drop this because I don't really have a board. Uh, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to play a... I don't want to play this. I think I do. Yep. Play that. Go ahead and do that. And here. Block off his path and hit him. So now we got... Nice board here. Nice board. I'm digging it. Call it a turn. Let's see what he got. He has six mana. Ready on the vault. That's like his whole turn. Okay. I'm down. So, what's he gonna do here? He's gonna attack? He's gonna attack. That's fine. Oh, nice. Lost a demonic lure. Um, duh, 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 duh. I'm going to actually going. I'm going to shoot this. I'm going to move up. Let's get closer to him. Because he is getting close to um, Shadow Shadow Nova turns. I'm, I'm actually going to go right here. So if you play Shadow Nova on me, it's not going to be as effective because it has these already around. Hit him. And... I'm going to... Play this. Uh, I want to play this. I just want to play here. And just heal him so he can't um, Abyssal Scar it. And I'm also going to play my Scarab here. So this way he has to make a choice. If he wants to kill these guys, he can do that. But then he'll leave this alive. Alright. So, what you want to do? 
That's more important. All right, so well, you could just do that. That's fine. That is quite all right. <clears throat> so we could take that guy out. And just trade that off. See what else he wants to do though. Healing Mystic. Gonna heal him up. He doesn't play around Blast. But wait, wait, what is he gonna do? Ephemeral Shroud? Oh, okay. Oh. Ephemeral Shrouds for days, huh? I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog, in your woof woof. Got all of my Ephemeral Shrouds, eh? So this turn, just gonna just trade those off. Gonna hit this thing. Gonna come down here, hit this. Come over here. I'm gonna play. Hmm. Play another one. Here. And play another here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right here. And I'm going to hit you. And that'll be it. Kind of, just, I want to just spread out my units. So the reason my positioning is just to spread out my units. So he has to kind of like make a decision what to shadow Nova. It does that. Because I want to stay here so I could avoid Shadow Nova as much as I can. Because if Shadow Nova's here, there's only extra, there's only another two. If Shadow Nova's here, there's also another two. So I gotta just let my minions do all the work for me, basically. Repulsor piece. I'm gonna repulsor that on the Shadow Nova tile. Alright, solid. Solid. You know, so that, but I have a, um, I have some. It's not a big deal because I do have this. I have to step up. Wait, do I have to step up? No, I don't. Just come over here. Summon that there. Come over here. Hit this. Uh, move four. Move down. Yeah, move down. Play my Bloodborne spell just to. So. All right, there we go. Finally got a nice spawn. Hit you. And that's it. I don't want to move forward, really. Nope, not gonna move. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, another one? Not annoying at all. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's pretty obnoxious. But let's see what you could do about that. The wings. Put it. I kind of want to put it out of his reach, so he can't like take advantage of like the heals, and then put this guy down here. Thing is, he's gonna have his Shadow Nova. Probably saved it so he could use it for this for this guy. Which is quite unfortunate because, like I said, after when this guy gets dealt with. I pretty much lose because I don't, all I have left is lackluster minions. That's gonna suck. So assuming that he didn't, he never played. I never. I know, excuse me. He didn't play one Shadow Nova yet. I'm assuming he was saving it. One can assume that much. All right, so he plays a Shadow Dancer. Fortunate. 
Um, move over here. It's pretty much stay out of range. Whenever any minion or general takes damage, I have to kill it. I have to kill that fool. Um, just cycle my hand. See what else can get. All right, let's play this here. And why not? Whatever. Uh, move. Um, just play that. Why not? why not? Doesn't hurt. And I should take out this fool. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Huh, <sighs> not sure what the oh god. Oi, oi, oi. So sky. Oh my god, it sucks. And it's at this point where I'm completely at a loss. So I have to hit you. And I guess I can come kill you. And actually, I didn't have to move. I don't know why I moved. I really don't know why I moved. I'm going to regret that. I'm going to regret that in a bit. Two cards. Two cards. Oh my god, it's... I don't believe. Anyway, it's not like he could heal anymore, but still. Dark transformation. Have to kill that. And so, oh my God, it's so awkward. I don't. I just go back here. So I'm not sure at all what to do. Why? Am I... I probably should just stop using my blood points. Bro. At this point, it's not doing me any good. There it is, yep. Oh my god. And there's Mechazor, so like I said, we pretty much lose now because I only got much to do. I only got much else to offer. So we're gonna just play a bunch of cards. Do a bunch of stuff and hope for the best. So all it takes is one more shadow note. And it pretty much done so. Oh my god, I can't get no leeway. Because I'm just getting answered left and right. Answered, getting stalled out. It's like, jeez. Can I maybe catch a bird? All right, so just do that. This, what else we, what else we gonna get? All right, so we have that. Uh, here. Um. And I'm gonna 
for what it's worth, I'm gonna just kill him off before we could do his blood damage, though. For what it's worth. Shadow dances. Oh. What else you got? Dancing blades. That's nice. I'll hit you for another four. Dancing blades. And. You. And that'll be that. Do nothing else. Five transformation. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I might as well move. I die with the next shadow nova. I didn't mean to put him right there, I'm gonna put him right here, but I'm getting a little hasty. And of course, I get the shitty spawn. But, eh, whatever. I'm not good at these endurance fights. It's like a war of attrition. I feel like he has another Shadow Nova, you're just not playing it. Oh, no, you don't. I don't even know what... I keep getting this damn card. Fuck it. Oh my god. Should've moved too. Oh my god. Fucking all is fucking all up. I don't know what to do. All it takes is another Shadow Nova. Right? I can't do anything. I'm just, I'm gonna just... Ah, I can't deal with it. <sighs> it's not... Not having fun. That was not enjoyable at all. Fuck Megazord Dex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you see? As soon as I sent it out, I couldn't really do anything with it because all he kept playing was shit that I had to answer. So I couldn't really make use of it at all. And this video is getting too long. So yeah, I'm going to actually call it here. Going to call it here. Um, and just leave it at that. <laughs> Hopefully I have better luck next time. But yeah, Megazord decks. Not for me. I don't know how people can just play Megazord. I hear people only play Megazord decks in this game. Which is bananas to me. But eh, whatever. Whatever, different strokes for different folks. But, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like down below to me, not to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's been real. Catch you in the next one. I'm Mark Spiles. You guys be good, stay strong, and keep on keeping on.